Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm so glad that didn't come out my nose. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Oh, it's so juicy. Thank you for joining us on Patreon and follow our official Twitter account. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. And today we're <laughs> reacting to a behind the scenes ish thing. I thought you were going to say we're reacting to a behind. Uh, like somebody's behind. You were just going to like show me behinds and we were going to have to guess who it was. That's actually not a bad idea. <clears throat> it's from the film Piku. <gasps> this is a behind the scenes of Piku? He's talking about, I believe, the car scene on the side of the road. Sweet. Then you know it's... Wait a minute. The one you really liked a lot? Yeah. Yeah. So it's... it's the director. Yeah. Uh, say his name. Uh, Shujit Sirkar. I believe he's talking about the development the, the development of that, of that scene with, with the three of them on the side of the road. Yeah. Unless it's a different scene, but I believe it's that scene because, you know, we really enjoyed that scene and you talked about, you know, you think it was all improv. And yes, yes, yes. And how much of it I was wondering was improv and how much I would love to know what was going on there and how much I saw Topeka. I mean, if you're working with Big B and Irfan, your work's going to be great. So <laughs> let's go. Cool. Hi, I am Shujit Sarkar. Um, I'm going to just uh, talk about... Uh, the scene from uh, Piku, a famous knife scene. This scene came on the As second you draft you watch of the it? story, the initial draft. Let me see. I think this scene was not there, it came on the second draft. Let when I was discussing you. with Juhi, I told her, we should have a moment where hell breaks. It's a full stop, now nothing can go forward. So I think this man has irritated everyone so much that let's have a full stop of on everything. So this scene was almost like that. Uh, this scene was not constructed like this. This scene was more like he'll give the knife, he'll come, they'll have a little debate, he will put the luggage, no, no, my jara. She will hand over the knife to Irfan and Irfan will chuck it and they'll sit. But when we were doing the scene, Something was not happening, coming out. I mean, the way that it was scripted, was perfectly scripted. Not, it was not happening. We're doing the scene, not coming. But it was like a, looking like a very stale and a boring scene. You know, why this another scene coming up? So after many rehearsals and many takes also, I went to Irfan. I said, Irfan uh, and Mr. Bachchan, sir, this scene is not happening. So, so what, sir, what, what do you want? I said, this should be the end of the film. So this is the end climax. Your relation, all relationships are over. It should be like an end of the film. Mr. Bachchan is a more, um, he rehearses well. He's, he's more of a scripted person. I mean, he'll remember the comma, the question mark, the dot, the full stop, everything. And Irfan is a, he can go anywhere. I mean, you know, if you, if you really give him a free hand, like a spontaneous, he can go anywhere. And Deepika also, at some point, between these two actors standing there, she also didn't know where to go, what to talk. So I said, okay, fine. Here the script ends. And after this, you guys are on your own. Heck yeah. This I just told it, fine, in his ears, you push, you start. And see where it goes. Let's start improvise. And Irfan is a master in improvisation. And I knew that you know if Irfan starts improvising and Mr. Bachchan starts improvising, they they can go on. Right. You know? And then Deepika in the middle holding the knife, I don't know what she's going to do. I went and whispered in uh, Deepika, listen, at some point, if, any, if you feel you are not able to understand what the hell, you chuck the knife. You actually chuck the knife. And this I didn't tell the other two actors. Genius directing. And I never thought Mr. Bachchan was also a great improviser. You know, I always thought he was very scripted. But in that scene, I, I told him, sir, this is going to go a little chaotic. I don't want where this is going. I have no idea, but please take it to a level where, uh, you know, hell breaks. And Mr. Irfan and Mr. Bachchan started. I will not, I will not. He takes the luggage and it's chaotic. My camera is saying, I'm not getting this. I said, let it go. Just don't stop. Let this go. If you're getting, there are a lot of jerks in the camera. Very difficult to edit that scene was. You will find a lot of jerks coming in. 
are there language was wrong um, words were wrong some some portions we dub little uh, later also and they were just fighting and deepika actually if you see some point she didn't know what to do if you see the character <laughs> see she didn't know what to do she just she chucks the knife like that okay chucky bet him now so boy hey try it otherwise i'm not going <laughs> i'm not going it i don't know what happened to irfan at that moment actually in that scene he walks away he switches on the phone if the scene is not there and he calls his friend that friend uh, which is played by jishu pikus patra main bus leke wapas aa raha hu main is family ko nahi le sakta tu aa ja jo bhi hai so is that kind of that phone call was i cut that out and after the phone call he goes and sits there so mr bachan goes and sits there and deepika also didn't know what to do but really clever of deepika she also thought what to do she went and got the car i given is um, i gave an instruction from behind the camera deepika you you also you do you do something so she she heard she went she opened the door and she just got and went and sat there and they didn't know what to do next i said keep awesome. holding and i got a yes. very nice moment there i said yes. keep holding keep ro- yes don't move everybody be there let's let's this let's just stay with this moment for some time and this scene was actually this came out with that improvisation there three different islands happening there there were all three people three different moods three different zone and that's how this scene was captured and i went back i took the white shot and then he's sitting there he chucks the knife chordo then he takes his bags he sitting he's like sitting there like a grumpy old man <laughs> I didn't know the scene that this going to be the interval point. I thought after this they will move on. So I shot this sequence, and I don't know what happened. It was like a, you know, Jesus coming on on to you on that that moment. I said, okay, my I asked my camera, okay, let's take a wide shot of this. So we go across the road, and anyway, it was quite late in the afternoon because this scene took a lot of time because we are all confused if this scene is working or not working. Mm-hmm. Since then we started this scene morning seven o'clock. we finished lunch time one o'clock normally i shoot very fast but this scene took a lot of time if you see the scene there's a lot of sun it's bright sun coming on actually this scene was supposed to be really pretty morning sun light coming on i just went out i said yaar ek white shot bhi le lo dekh lenge so i took that shot i said i'll use or not use i'll see and then i'll come back and then he throws the knife and then goes away so my editor one day कॉल मी सर मुझे एक एक इंटरवल पॉइंट मिला है देखो जरा आपको कैसा लग रहा है शेखर प्रजापति इज इज एरेटेड ऑल माय फिल्म्स एंड ही सेड कि ही हेल्ड ऑन टू दिस शॉट एंड सेड हाउ अबाउट दिस इज एन इंटरवल पॉइंट एंड इमीडिएटली आई सेड कि नो नो दिस इज द परफेक्ट इंटरवल पॉइंट एब्सोल्युटली और इसी को ही रखते हैं सो दैट्स हाउ दैट इंटरवल पॉइंट केम इन हाय आई एम सुजीत सरकार एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो क्लिप प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू फिल्म कंपैनियन टेल यू व्हाट आई वांट टू वर्क विद यू या गाइस It was a a genius move by him to um to to let that happen. Yes. Um and and sometimes certain certain directors can and deservingly like Martin Scorsese I feel like is this way. He 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 he's a genius and he he knows what he's doing. He so does. He, he likes all what he likes and mm-hmm. that's why his films are 3 hours long yeah. and 3 and 1/2 hours long because he doesn't like to cut anything out no, because he, he thinks cl- everything's genius. Exactly and he clearly knows. I mean I've never seen him work on a set. I've never had the honor of being anywhere on a set that he's been working on. But what you get in the performances from his actors mm-hmm. uh and why the greatest of all time have repeatedly worked with Scorsese. is because he's clearly an actor's director mm-hmm. who who allows these kinds of moments one of my favorite ever moments which is comparable to this that I know about uh if you've never seen the movie The Color Purple by Steven Spielberg mm. it is it is in my top 5 favorite Steven Spielberg films of all time and it's one of the first films he ever made that was stretching himself beyond the realm of the blockbuster hits that he had had where he was diving into something that the source material was a really popular book and it was dramatic. I absolutely love The Color Purple. And there's a scene where Danny Glover's character and the the two sisters, one of them, the sisters are best friends, but Danny Glover is abusive to both of the girls. And at one point, he's trying to come on to the one sister who's not allowing him to 
take the advances. And what's gonna happen is he's gonna kick her off the property. And what Spielberg did is, I saw this in a behind the scenes, is he went to all three actors and spoke to them separately before they shot the scene. And the scene is not scripted with any kind of dialogue. It's just scripted with action. And what basically happens is this. The two sisters are going about their day. Danny Glover is gonna go up to the one sister to do some advances. She will reject those advances and he's gonna finally once and for all kick her off, which will mean the sisters are separated. So he went up to the three different actors and he said to Danny Glover separately, he said, you have to get her off your property or you're gonna die. It has to be that big of a deal for you as a character. Your goal is she must get off the property or you die. Went to the sister who's getting kicked off. You can't let him kick you off or you die. Went to the other sister. You can't let him take your sister away from you or you'll die. And he told them that all separately. <clears throat> and then he rolled the cameras. And when you watch that, everything you see in that scene is pure improvisation. And it's just, it's so beautiful and painful to watch. I mean, everything from they're holding onto this, this pole and Danny Glover is hitting her hands with his fist to, to get her hands to let go of the pole. And when he finally pushes her off the property once and for all, the actress playing the sister in that moment just looks at Danny Glover and goes, why, why? And it's this heartbreaking moment of the two sisters being separated that wasn't scripted. Mm. It was just this, and the reason that that moment was able to come to pass is because he had a director like this, who just let the actors be and let it roll and let them just do whatever they felt like they were gonna do. Mm. And you get, you get gold when you do that. That's, that is, that's why they did this behind the scenes. That, that's one of my favorite scenes in this film. Yeah, that was a, it's a great scene and brilliant directing. And it was also brilliant. interesting to see the, uh, and it's, I think something we've figured, Amitak Bakshan, I've heard that he's a very, to the script. And there's a yeah. lot of actors like that. And, that, and there's nothing wrong with it's that. Obviously it's their approach. He's one of the greatest actors. It's their approach. And that's how you do it. Yep. I, I think uh, Daniel Day-Lewis is similar to that, I, I believe. Uh, I don't know how much he is that way. Um, I know he's this way, is that he won't ever break character. Yeah. Ever. For the entirety of the shoot. Yeah. So don't ask um, him. Yeah, but so you, 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 you have that. But then Irfan, who we just figured was a big improviser. Well, and I think the difference is that my understanding is Big B doesn't have a theater background. Mm -hmm. He is a strictly film actor. Which would make sense. Uh, you don't, you're, you're, I mean, you know how I feel about improv. For those of you who don't know, to me, improv is the foundation gold of acting. If you don't have the capacity for improv, because life is improv, you never know what's going to happen one minute to the next. Uh, but I, what I love is how seemingly unrigid Big B is, in that he prefers not to improv, but he will. You know, he, did, and he did amazing. Did too. an amazing job of that, and and at reminds me how much I love Irfan, that film. man. I know, me too, and how much I love Irfan is arguably the most natural actor. If someone were to say to me, uh, right at the top of your head, some of the most natural actors you've ever seen in your life, he is at the top of my list. He's the yeah. most comfortable. He, he makes it look so effortless. So effortless. He makes acting. I would say. If someone were to press me, what actor makes acting look effortless to you? Like at the top of the list, it's it's Irfan. I, yeah. I can't imagine anyone else making it look more simple mm -hmm. and effortless as him. Always. Yeah, I would love to work with all oh, of them. All I of them. would be. It was interesting. Freaking out. And that was the whole part of the movie. Just these three different generations yeah. of actors. Yeah. In a film like the season pro, the. I mean, he's not new and upcoming, but, you know, that type in the Irfan. Yeah, uh, well, compared to Big B. Big, yeah, yeah Big B to, is his look up to. And then the new, new. Yeah. And Topeka, who's relatively very new. Yeah. Uh, and not as experienced as these two. No, but did. Pros, the, but did an amazing job. Yeah, this was the film, as much as I enjoyed her in Padma Bhatt, this was the film where I watched her opposite these two legends and thought, dang, girl. You're an actor, man. You're, mm. you're, you're doing... It wasn't as revelatory for me as when we saw Priyanka and Barfi. Mm. That is still, for me, the singularly most revelatory performance by any actor out of India is to watch her portray Jill Mill and Barfi. But the peak of deeply... This is the movie when I, that I saw, wow, this, this girl is a legit actor. Oh, I got there way before you. I know you did. <laughs> I know yeah, you did. Yeah, I knew she was great. But yeah, this yeah. was great. If there's more stuff like this... But Please, this is our... This is like... <sighs> 
we've seen a couple behind the scenes stuff. Some great, some not so great. This is uh, what we want. Yeah, the director specifically talking. Like I would love to see Vishal uh, talking oh, about some of his man. films. Oh, you specifically like this. Sanjay Leela Bansali as well. This kind of stuff. Uh, Not just like we did a Ram Leela one, which was more of a, a promo piece where you saw what was going on. We awesome. don't want to see what's going on. We want to we hear what's the creative process. Yeah. This was great. Yeah.